Well, first things first. I owe a big thanks to V West Life for the help with getting this Ford or 1979 Ford Quadrasonic 8 track tape deck for, well, I guess, well, they're available for pretty much every car that Ford made. Um, I'm going to zoom back to the wires over there. See that funky looking circuit board? You wouldn't have heard that, that would have been really choppy because the camera does that when I zoom in. But this little funky looking metal can right here was actually the coil to like for electronic or for the ignition um, it prevents uh, like weird noises but that was he was right that was actually the positive and I found the ground wire and it's just sort of stuck to the case too you can see that funky looking connector right there where my finger's pointing way down in the corner I'm zoom back out and because I'm deleting the other video that I had I'm going to thank Mr. Carroll again for giving me this thing. I'm very much appreciative. Unfortunately, it probably won't fit very well because, well, this is the original radio that went in the car. I had the cassette deck removed for very for good reason. But the face plates are about okay. The only issue is the depth. Now this radio is about this deep. Unfortunately, the, the great track radio goes about that deep, and there's no room in the back of the dashboard which makes it a big problem. But I'll make it fit. But let's see what happens when we turn it on. Actually, I'll go over the controls first, so... Should be good. Get my pointing screwdriver, or a end roll screwdriver. Line control, on off switch. Tuning control, I'll demonstrate that in a minute. Down, up. AM and FM selector. The track door, which folds down. Then there's the three set buttons. Scan is at the end. Seek is at this end. Digital display. Tone control. Um, setting for the presets, and there's tape track change. Zoom in, so you can see what I'm pointing at. Um, speaker balance for right and left, and front and back. And the stupid darkness, because my head's getting in the way of the, the darn lamp. Okay, I'm going to show it with three. Oh yeah, I got three Motley speakers. Two from a Morse stereo system, which had quad, quad sound too for some reason even though it only had a normal tape head, and then there's um, a subwoofer. Zoom back out. I'm telling you when I'm zooming because the camera chops it, and then that's why I'm not saying anything. See, there's the subwoofer right there, and then there's the other two speakers. Now, let's see what happens. All proceeds donated to the Victoria Food Orange digital display, CBI stereo light, and then FM. Change to AM, it shows up. The preset change works. It's 100.3, and then I change it, and it's got 600. So it's good. It's set for 100.3 because it's the only station I can pick up with no antenna. I'm going to have to do something weird with the wiring. I'm just going to plug the, because of the gauge of the wires at the back, I'm just going to stick them into the pin socket for the original radio. And now let's try it with an 8-track. For some reason, there's no track change light. It doesn't tell me. That's track four, by the way. You kind of have to memorize the songs. Track one. Track two. Fitting. New scoop. Four. Four radio. <laughs> Let's see if ABBA will work. There's the tone control. I keep forgetting that automatically goes back to the radio when I'm done. Um, 
And what's that? Sound, it doesn't actually sound half bad. The only problem is I don't have any quadraphonic 8 tracks, which is a major kind of problem. But it, sound, it plays regular ones just fine. Let's try something a bit different. Um, I'm not quite sure it's playing. Come on. Why no music? That's why. Well, that, at least we know the track changes thing works. Let's do something more with the radio. Okay. Let's just uh, demonstrate the up and down. See, so it changes it in terms you can go faster or slower. Darn, all I got is static on my favorite radio station. Darn. One of the three comes in clear. Let's try something else. Um, Nothing. Oh well. Well, I guess we'll have to see it again when it's in the car. Like I said, same time I'll show the CB radio that's in it as well. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, hope you all enjoyed this. It's kind of something different. Um, there should be something interesting. I'm going to a bunch of thrift stores tomorrow, so I probably expect we'll probably see a couple more videos. Anyway. Thanks everybody, and thanks for all suggestions.